trip to Japan on behalf of the World Peace Council. There's more to life than despair and dirt. That's one message of the Watts Summer Festival, which opened today at Will Rogers Park in South Los Angeles. This is the seventh anniversary of the festival, born in the aftermath of the 1965 Watts riots. The pageant of black pride and ethnic identity features tents, booths, colored lights, cotton candy, and soda pop. And the fun is expected to draw some 200,000 people. It all began at opening ceremonies. Let me say something that all of us are aware of here today, and that is that the Watts Summer Festival is not simply fun and games, as you know. The Watts Summer Festival, as much as an occasion, is a statement about our community, what it is and what it tries to do and what it hopes to do. And I think it's tremendously important that we keep that in mind, not only throughout the endurance of this festival this year, but of every Watts Summer Festival of every year to come. Um, I would like to say that uh, this should be the best and the most productive festival ever held. The community is beautiful. My people are beautiful. I hope that all of us respect each other here. Too many people have worked too hard. I don't want any disarray. That's what certain people are waiting for. I think if all of us party, eat, ride, and just meet each other, this will be the best festival ever because I love my people. I hope you love me. And never forget that I am a servant of you. I'm a servant of the people. Thank you. Right on. The festival continues through Sunday. It will conclude with a mammoth parade through South Los Angeles and a big benefit concert at the Coliseum. Billed as a festival, the activities here are really a lot more than that. They're actually a cultural experience. This is Fred Parsons reporting for Channel 5 News. Park on another trip to the annual convention of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. The director of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference West, the Reverend Al Dorch, ladies and gentlemen. And I am happy to say a very good friend of mine and a very good friend of the community, Brother Tony Rushing. Tony. To accomplish by building a solid economic and cultural base, perhaps the most vital and most certainly a force to be revoked reckon with is the annual Watts Summer Festival. What better way to harness the energies and creativity of the youth to revitalize the deferred dreams and aspirations of the elders of the elders and a vehicle that offers cultural enrichment, information, and entertainment. For freedom for all. Seven years ago has been on. I shall not belabor the point because the hour is late. But I would like to say that for some six months we have had an interracial committee. Although I didn't get the enlightened knowledge, self-interest, the forward ability to observe matters in the course that they run, be one of those to vote in favor of expanding the county board of supervisors to seven. Well. He and those who voted along with him were not so fortunate. Any supervisor, Kenneth Vaughn. Two mic. Is this better? No, you got a hug. They knew when the supervisor was coming, didn't they? They just brought it right up. Thank you very much. Uh, this is a, a day of rejoicing and a day of thanksgiving well as a week of remembrance. Seven years ago, uh, instead of see, seeing people smile and children enjoying themselves, we had fear, we had hate, we had violence. The very corner here at 103rd Street was known as Charcoal Alley. We had, instead of a clear sky, we had smoke. Had fires. And now, seven years later, we're celebrating the Watts Festival with a challenge for hope. We've accomplished much in the seven years, and yet there's so much more 
to be done. We have a fine park here. We have a new hospital, Martin Luther King Hospital, that's just been opened. And already, already 40,000 people have been treated there in less than four months. We built a new swimming pool. Great. A great week. And a wonderful... Oh. The way things are going, I can use one of those Christmas baskets at home today, right now. Well, I wasn't aware I was going to have to make a speech, but who is, what, what queen is it or who is a queen that cannot relate to her people on every level? Yeah. Thank you. Well said. But there was no... Tell me, how does the festival this year compare with last year? At this point, pretty much so. <clears throat> Solving in the sense that we will be able to maintain a year-round staff. We will constantly need support on the part of people and big business, but we'll be able to maintain a staff to go out and solicit those businesses and those people. Uh, Yolanda, do you see this uh, festival as an expression of unity, of black pride, as most of uh, the people here seem to feel that it is? Yes, I do. This is the utmost, uh, the utopia of black pride. This is unity right here. And a festi festival, the word festivity means enjoyment, and a group of people, food, music, and uh, this is it. And this is unity, and I want everyone to come out for it. Everyone. I guess this is going to be the big thing this year for the black community uh, that will bring people from all uh, walks of life, all over Los Angeles and the Southland here to... Who are, are you expecting? Well, we're expecting so many people. I mean, people from the highest classes and people of the lower classes, so-called classes. This is the way it's labeled in the society. They're all people, and they're all coming to have fun. I wonder if people know how much fun they can have down here. Oh, there are rides and booths and there's jewelry being sold. There's all oh, food, movies, movies are being shown. Right. It's just everything. It's just not just whatever they're expecting. I see Buck and the Preacher. Buck and the Preacher. <laughs> <laughs> rides, 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 music, oh, continuously.